Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I ain't even gonna lie to you guys. I sat in front of this camera for like a good hour now. Just wondering like, girl, what is you gonna talk about? Um, if you guys don't know, I was supposed to upload a video on the 7th, which was Monday or Tuesday. And I have it. <laughs> and I need to upload one before I have to upload two. Um, I do have the whole Dollar Tree story time of what happened. So, you guys should see that before this one. But if you haven't seen that one, I'm going to make sure I link it below if I don't forget. And then, yeah, then you guys will understand where I'm at with that. Um, because I did receive a lot of emails talking about that. And I had one comment saying that they want to know about Dollar Tree. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upload that video. I'm going to try to get it out to you guys today. Um, well, y'all see that before this one. So, just know if you're watching this one, you missed the Dollar Tree one. Um, but anyways, um, today I'm going to talk about, I don't know. Um, I might just come up with a topic. Uh, let's talk about ways to avoid or to prevent social media bullying. I think that's what I want to talk about. Because I see a lot of that going on. And plus, my best friend was, um, she was in social media bullying. So, I'm like, okay, I might as well talk about it. Um, I have a list of videos I was supposed to do. But it's like I got so far behind to the fact that I have to catch back up. So you guys might see like three or four days of videos like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You might see a video. I'm sorry. But I have to get caught back up. Um, And I'm pretty sure you guys appreciate it. But I always, I always say if you want to leave like suggestions, Go down to the comment section, leave a suggestion of what you think I should talk about next or should put on my YouTube channel or what I should bring to my YouTube channel to make it more lively. Just let me know in the comment section. All positive comments are welcome. Uh, uh, positive criticism is welcome. I'm down for it all. But uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. And um, let's get straight into this long awaited don't really know what the topic gonna be video okay so the first thing i want to talk about is during this covid 19 where social media is the best form of communication but there are some um some tainted people in this universe who think um they need a little action in their world so they tend to just pick at people for the smallest little thing. You can misspell a word and it's going to explode to the biggest thing ever. So you have to speak to someone you trust. Be open, honest about how you are feeling about the situation. Never go to someone who is possibly kin to the person who is doing the bullying because it will make it worse. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes you can have the people who you think you trust the most. And you go talk to them about your situation. And then when you guys get into it, they'll run to social media. And then they'll blow it all up. But you have to be the type of person who just let social media roll off your back. I'm the type of person is I go on there, say what I have to say, and get off. Or I might like your comment or whatever you say. Or I might follow a, a few people back. But other than just going on social media, looking at everybody posts, writing a comment on the everyone I see, I I don't do that. <laughs> I promise you I don't. Um, I might go on there and say 100 or like the little 100 sign. I I is right here. I will show you what I usually put right there. Or um, I will smile at it, or I put a GIF under there, or or something. I really don't write words unless like you my best friend or something. I might write under it. Or if I totally agree with what you say, then I might write under it. So I just don't write on everybody post. Um, but when it do comes to you or you being a victim of social media bullying, I always have evidence. 
Um, this is needed when like bullying crossed the line of harassments and threats and all of that stuff. You'll have proof, you'll have evidence that you could take to a lawyer, that you could take to uh the police officer or whoever you need to take it to. Um, especially if you're in high school or you're in junior high, you can take it to your parents, you can take it to the principal, whatever you need to do. Um, uh, always remember don't retaliate. And that's the biggest thing that we always have to remember. Never retaliate when it comes to bullying. It will only make the bullying worse and dangerous. And then, like, if you retaliate towards a person that is bullying you and they see that the bullying is not affecting you, they're going to go, they're going to try to hit you below the belt or it's going to become where it becomes physical and try to danger you in some type of form or fashion. Um... I feel like another thing is to always know where the cyberbullying is coming from. And that is very important. Um, you can know where the focus is, why, why they're bullying you and all of that stuff. Also, I do have, or I think I have, like a video talking about cyberbullying. But if I do, I'm going to link it below. And if I don't, you guys be on the lookout for that video. I'm going to talk all about cyberbullying, how to get rid of it. How to know how to find it. Uh, how can you be an advocate. All that stuff. Um, and when you're a bullying. Just know it's not you. It's the person who's doing the bullying. Either they feel something is not right within themselves. Which is basically insecure about themselves. Or they just jealous of something you're doing. And they want to do it. Um, <clears throat> I always say sometimes people bully you. Because they see something you have and they want. And they feel like they can't have it. Um, so that's the reason why I say I always know that cyberbullying is not your fault. It's always the next person's fault. Now, unless you are the one that's doing the bullying, then it is your fault. And stop it, because it's not safe, and you're making the next person feel unwanted. Sometimes that can lead into suicide, and we don't want that. It's like COVID-19 is kill already killing a lot of us. And you up there bullying people, so it's making it worse, so stop it. Um, <clears throat> another thing I want to say, sometimes we have to learn how to protect ourselves. Like, don't share your passwords with people. Um, even your closest friends, don't share your passwords. Or um, don't share your phone with everybody because usually when, they, when you do that, they'll go through your phone, your social media, post stuff that you don't know nothing about because... We let people use our phone, and you never know if they go into your social media and changing what you say. Because we don't check our phone right after we let somebody use it. We used to put it in our purse or in our pockets and just gone by a day. But then when the day over, you know, you wind down, you look at social media, then you realize everybody's bullying me because of a post. And then you go look at the post, and you're like, I didn't post this. And then there's a whole thing, and then you try to call your friend, ask what happened, all that stuff. And then your friend tried to turn down like she didn't do nothing, but she the one had your phone. It's a whole thing. So just be mindful of ways to protect yourself. Um, <clears throat> or have like the two-step authentication on where you they have to send a code to your phone just to do this and all that stuff. And then by the time your friend tried to post something, it's too late because you already getting your phone back. And it, it just a, it's just a way to protect you, basically. Um, if someone you know or you're close to and you and you feel like they're being bullied, talk to them about it. Talk to someone else about it. Talk to their parents about it. Let somebody else know besides you and your friend. Because I did have a best friend in high school who was being bullied and she never told anyone until it got to the fact that she wanted to harm herself. And by that time, I feel like it was too late to actually, like, have a conversation just between me and her. It I felt like at that point I had to tell somebody else, like the high school counselor and her parents. Um, because at that point I feel like it done went too far. Um, especially when it's suicide and you feel like you're gonna harm yourself because someone else was bullying you. At that point it's too late. Because I feel like at that point you ready to Harm yourself about what somebody else said. So it's just too late. Try to fix it on your own. <coughs> so anyways. That's all I got to say about that topic. 
Um, just know if you know anybody who's being bullied, just help them out. Don't be a bystander because to me, if you're a bystander, that's mean you're part of it. So, like, if you see somebody's being bullied or uh, somebody that is being bullied on, not just not just social media, um, high school social media, I mean, high school bullying, um, just random bullying in public or, like, don't be a bystander. That's the worst thing ever. Most people think that the person bullying is worse, but to me, you see the bullying, but you don't do nothing about it. That make you worse, too, as a person. But anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, today I have my, uh, I have a lot of stuff to do today. And it's like 1, maybe 12 o'clock, probably. Maybe 12.30. Um, but I have a lot of stuff to do. I have to meet with my manager of, uh, all my social media stuff. Speaking of social media... I have, make sure you follow my social media. All of them will be in the links below. Um, I still have not added Facebook, I don't think. Um, because I want to revamp my Facebook page a little bit. So, uh, when I get ready to revamp that, I will put it um, underneath my videos and let you guys follow that. Um, but the rest of them is un always under my videos. Lately, I haven't been posting any social media uh, words or any comments under my videos in the description box because I've just been trying to get them out. And I really haven't took time out to see, like, what I want to say up under my videos. So, that's why I really haven't posted anything under them. I just put them out. But anyways, I'm going to work on my blog website today because I have been neglecting that baby so bad. And always, if you want to follow that, you can always check the description box. It's always going to be in there. And you can always come in under my blog uh, entries, just like you would if you was going to do it on um, YouTube. Um, so, yeah, I got a lot of stuff to do today. Um, I need to get it did. I also have another wedding to plan. And this wedding is like further, further off back in 2022. Um, but no, 2021, but, um, it's like a lot of little things she won't do. So I'm going to start working on it sometime this week, um, just to get the formalities out the way. And then, um, yeah, I'm thinking about making a video where I show you guys how I actually sit down and talk to people about their weddings and do all that stuff. Um, and yeah. I think that's it. So, anyways, I'm going to close out this video. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, don't let anyone change the way you uh, woke up this morning, your personality this morning, the way you feel. Don't let anyone um, come in your your vibe and mess it up by whatever they say. Um, just remember, negativity is not welcome. And enjoy your day. Okay? Positive vibes only. But I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. All those good things that will help your girl out. Um, make sure you also hit the description. I mean the uh, notification bell. To be notified every time I decide to upload a video. Because you guys, I have to catch up. Because I am far from behind with these videos. And I hate that. But um, thank you guys. If you are new subscribers, thank you for joining my channel. I greatly appreciate that. You have the most, the utmost respect for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, but I'm going to end this video. And possibly, probably not do another one. I don't know. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.